fixeasy.com coming at you today with yet another disassemble. Looks like today we're going to be working on an Apple iPad 2. As always, before we get started with our repair, let's review our suggested tools. Plastic triangle opening tools. Small Phillips screwdriver. Plastic opening tools. A spudger. a heat gun or a blow dryer. We're going to show you how to change a series of parts out of the iPad. Before doing so, we need to show you how to peel back our front touch screen. About two inches from the bottom on the left hand side of the unit, we need to recognize that our ribbon cable for that front touch screen is in this general location. And just to the right of the home button is where our Wi-Fi antenna is adhered to the bottom side of the touch screen. So when we peel back our front touch screen, let's be mindful of these two pieces as to not cause irreversible damage. Time to begin our entry into the iPad. Let's first start with our heat gun or blow dryer and begin to soften up the adhesive around the perimeter. About one to two minutes of the heat should suffice. For our triangle opening tools, Let's bring in our plastic opening tool. And you'll also notice in this video that we use a simple razor blade. We found that the razor blade is the easiest way to start the separation of the touchscreen from the iPad bezel. Which your separation started with the razor blade, we can then bring in our plastic opening tool to continue the separation all the way around the perimeter of the iPad. As we work the opening on one side, you'll notice we fit a triangle opening tool into the gap. This is to keep the adhesive from coming back in touch with itself as we work ourselves all the way around the unit. Notice as we go from each side, again, another triangle tool goes into place. You'll notice in our video, we used our spudger to continue peeling the Wi-Fi antenna off the bottom side of the touchscreen before completely opening up the unit. When we finally did crack the unit open, we peeled the touchscreen back as if it was a book to make sure we didn't put too much tension on its ribbon wire and cause damage to it. Notice the LCD and how it's mounted with four Phillips screws. Let's now take our small Phillips screwdriver and remove these screws so that we can free the LCD for removal. Prying up lightly with our plastic opening tool and peeling out the LCD, we can lay it now on top of our touch screen so that we can disconnect the cable from the motherboard. Our LCD cable has a locking socket. It's a metal style lever that needs to be flipped up in a 90 degree fashion. With the lock released, we can now remove the ribbon cable and lift the LCD completely from the iPad. Let's bring our attention now to the touchscreen connections. We have two locking sockets. We need to flip the tabs on and release. And then we can remove the ribbon cable and remove the touchscreen completely from the iPad. Let's now work towards removing our dock port assembly from the iPad 2. With our spudger, we can gently pry up on the single connector for the dock port and disconnect it. The dock port is secured by two Phillips screws, one on either side of the assembly. Let's remove these screws with our Phillips screwdriver. We can then use our spudger to pry out the dock port from its housing at the bottom of the iPad and remove it completely for replacement. All of the parts and tools you've seen today in this video are available at www.fixez.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.